just like that, my so-called best friend, beelines right in front of me. She gives him a huge hug and a big kiss and says, Happy birthday, David! I walked out of there just totally broken hearted. <laughs> it was so bad, I had to switch schools. I did switch schools, but that's not the reason. <laughs> I went to Carl Sandburg Elementary instead. This time, I had a new love of my life. Obviously, at the new school, they didn't know about my reputation. Lori Roberts wasn't just a new love of my life, she was my next door neighbor. So before me, she became a love. We played in the sandbox together. We climbed the jungle gym together. We, we stood and walked underneath the crab apple trees together. And we were really tight. My next door neighbor, how convenient. Oh. One day in the spring, my mother says, David, the tulips are in bloom. Why don't you go next door and get Lori Roberts and bring her over here? I want to get a picture of you two next to the tulips. And I'm thinking, what a brilliant idea, Mom. Why didn't I think of that? So I go and get Lori Roberts. And we're sitting in front of the tulips, sitting Indian style, which is not politically correct, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's how we were sitting back then. That's too difficult. Indian style. All right. So, my mother goes to take a picture, and I'm smiling. A million dollar smile. All of a sudden, my mother says, I need to take another picture. She goes to take a picture, and Lori Roberts turns around and kisses me on the cheek while she clicks. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> I'm getting somewhere, and the 